Hey, what's going on everybody? It's your bro, hope you're doing well, and in this video I'm gonna show you all some useful string methods in C-sharp. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Alright everybody, here's a few useful string methods that you may be interested in. So to begin, we'll need a string to work with, or a variable containing a string. So why don't we create a variable named full name to store your own full name. Now to access some methods available to strings, we'll need to type a string or a variable containing a string, then follow this with a dot. And there should be a prompt for a whole bunch of methods that we have access to. I'll show you some of the more useful ones, like to upper, full name dot to upper, then to invoke this, add a set of parentheses, then a semicolon to finish the statement. But then we'll need to reassign this full name equals full name to upper then we can display our full name. And when I run this, my name should all be uppercase. Just like that. Okay, now, alternatively, there's to lower. It's the same process as before, but change the method to lower, and my name should all be lowercase. Okay, so that's to upper and to lower. Let's move on. For this next example, we'll need a phone number. So let's create a string named phone number equals and make up some phone number and be sure to include some dashes one two three four five six seven eight nine zero okay what i'm going to do is replace these dashes with a different character so to do that we'll need to use the replace method so phone number dot replace so within the set of parentheses we'll need the character we're going to replace and another character we're going to replace the old character with so I would like to replace all dashes with a forward slash. So separate each of these characters with a comma. So this will replace my phone number, the dashes within the phone number with forward slashes. Phone number equals phone number dot replace. And let's display our phone number with a right line statement. So all of these dashes have been replaced with forward slashes. Now, if you replace these with no characters, just an empty set of quotes, that will effectively remove those dashes within the phone number, which could have some uses too. So that is the replace method available to strings. Next, we have the insert method. We can insert a character or a string at a given index within a pre-existing string. Let's say I would like to take my full name and turn it into some sort of username by preceding my first name with the at sign. So to do that, I can use the insert method. I'll create a new variable for this example. Let's say string username equals full name dot insert. And with the insert method, we will list an index and what we would like to insert. So computers, they always start at zero. The beginning would be zero. That would be the first index. So at the beginning, index zero, I would like to insert an at sign. And this will create a new variable called username. So I will display that within a right line statement, console.writeline username. And my username is now at whatever my full name was. Now, this doesn't necessarily have to be a single character. We could say like Mr. Dot and precede my full name with Mr. And my username is now Mr. Brocode. Okay, so that is the insert method. What I'm about to show you next technically isn't a method, it's a property, but it's found within the same place as methods for strings. So to access the length property of a string, type a string dot length, and you do not add a set of parentheses afterwards. That is done with methods. So the length property will return the given amount of characters within a string. So I'm going to display this within a right line statement. If you need this, you can always like assign this to a variable or something but that might be overkill for this lesson. So console.writeline the length of my full name, and my full name has eight characters in it. One potential use of the length property of strings is that, let's say that somebody's creating a username and there's a max of 12 characters. Well, you can get the length of whatever they type in and check to see if it's more than 12 characters. This next method is the substring method, and it can be a little complex. Basically speaking, we can take a section from an original string and create an entirely new string, but we have to specify a position and how many characters you would like to extract from that given position. So we'll create two new strings from full name, first name and last name using the substring method. 
So let's declare string first name equals full name dot substring. Okay, so within the substring, we're going to list an index and the amount of characters afterwards we would like to include within our substring. So I would like to take the first three characters from my full name. So the index, computers always start with zero, up at the beginning of my string would be zero. And I'm going to take three characters after this index. So if I was to display my first name now, it's going to be, bro, the first three characters of my full name. Now let's do the same thing with last name. So let's copy what we have, change first name to last name. But now we have a different index. So I would like my substring to begin where the C is. So let's count what the index is going to be. This would be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So let's change 0 to 4. And how many characters would we like to include within our substring? 1, 2, 3, 4. So 4, comma 4. And that is my last name. So I will display that within a right line statement. First name and last name. So that is the substring method. We can take a section or a slice from an original string and create an entirely new string from it. All right, everybody, those are a few useful string methods, but not all of them. So if you would like a complete list, you can always type a string dot, and there should be a pop-up for all of the different string methods you can access. And if you highlight one of these, there's a description of what they do exactly. I only showed you a few of the more useful ones for beginners. So if you can, give this video a big fat thumbs up, drop a random comment down below, and well, those are some useful string methods in C-sharp.